I mean, look at this. <gasps> oh my goodness. In last week's video, we prepped the back and sides of our house for paint and painted the trim and body of the back of the house. We decided to play it safe and hire painters to paint the highest peaks on the left and right sides of the house. If you missed last week's video, make sure to check it out. It's linked in the description below. Now it's time to remove the paper and plastic sheeting from the back of the house and finish painting the sides. Let's go top down. Top down, homeboy. I can't believe I started from the bottom up and you didn't even catch it. I told you. Just trying you. to see if you're paying attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the finish color at the top and that's the primer at the bottom. It's the next day here and I'm about to finish up painting the trim on the back of the house. It is super hot out here already today. Three sides of the house are painted. I have to finish this back side painting the window trim. I'm going to finish that up today and while I'm doing that, Wender is power washing the front of the house. That's the last side that we have left to paint. We should have it all finished up by next week. I'm going to put some sunblock on because I'm melting out here already. I'm about to call it a day. Um, I was able to do the trim on these windows. I also touched up these side trim pieces. This one also needed to be touched up, so I did that as well. So I still have this big window. I did this window here, the back porch. The reason why I'm stopping, well, first of all, I'm exhausted. We ripped out the bushes in the front today in the front of the house. We are gonna keep the hydrangea bushes. There's one there. There's one in between these two bushes. Because they're so overgrown, you can't even tell unless you get up close. And there's also two rose bushes. And those are gonna stay. I removed as much as I could with my hedge trimmers before Wender came in with the sawzall. It was crazy to see what a difference this made in the front of our house. We plan to add more plants in this area and we will have a full landscaping video on that coming soon. Make sure to subscribe if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. Now the reason that I'm stopping is that we're supposed to get thunderstorms in about a couple of hours. We figured if we give it two hours, um, it should be fine before the rain starts. It's time to go inside and our cat got out again. What are you doing? Look at you. You look crazy. You are all dirty. Well, fine. You can stay out until you start crying at the back door. Ready to go inside, Francine? Also, I'm going to be painting these back doors. I haven't decided if I'm going to do them beige or black, but I think I'm going to do them black. Let me know in the comments if you think I should paint them beige, like the trim, or black. Sunday morning, last day of my week off to paint the house. We finished three sides of the house, minus a little bit of trim that Candace is touching up today. I found this product 
I'm sure it's no big secret, but it's uh, it's like an outside bleach. It gets rid of mold and everything. And my father-in-law told me to get something similar to this. And I didn't even consider it prior to him saying that. So it was a great pro tip for me, at least. They're cheap. They're five ninety something. Probably two, maybe three of those. You can do an entire, you know, 15 to 2,000 square foot home. Did you get the bleach that you needed? Yeah, I want to get to it. I need to do it. All right. This was the last of the window trim I needed to paint on the back of the house. Before we show you the after photos, here's what it used to look like. I'm going to remove these wires and all these little nails in the flagpole. 1,400 holes in there. Get it ready for uh, yeah. power washing yeah. because this is the only side of the house that hasn't been painted yet. found me <laughs> get to work <laughs> I feel like I hear that all too often this is the side we paid the guy to paint we caulked in all these holes wherever we painted we covered all these holes caulked all around the sides oh, of the windows because what the back. if you get all back there here for some reason they don't flash the top of the uh the window trim gets just wood on wood. Water gets back there. So I am going to use some Lexel on top because apparently it waterproofs and sort of creates a flashing. This is actually better than every other one that is on the back of the house. This is pretty well sealed. I guess I take all that back, but I did not lie. Yeah. <laughs> the back of the house, everything was rotted and I ended up putting a bunch of Lexel all up in there. I mean, cool. better safe than sorry. We got another one though. Let's see how that looks. It's fine. There's a little bit of bare wood. I suppose we can just prime. When you're painting, just come up here and do like the top. It's not rotted or anything. It's just the paint is like peeling. Why wouldn't they paint that? I don't know. Okay, so we're not like selling. I don't think so. Cool. <laughs> so much for that. Great segment. Very valuable footage. You know, I'm not hating on that. If I get up here to caulk this and find out that everything's already caulked, like I won't complain. I hope that trend continues. Mm -hmm. Just won't be very uh, exciting footage. It won't, but it'd be a very excited wonder. So everyone is aware, I'm a terrible applier of this. Look at this hook. How useless is this? I waste a lot of this stuff because I don't know how to do it. Right. But, you know, it's effective against water. Not super effective against my wallet. Well, now I need the, that cloth. Damn it. Oh, I shouldn't have dropped it. Right now. You want me to go get that? I got it. Okay, don't drop it. Don't said don't drop it. Yeah, don't. You know, it's why not build it? Not why not paint it? We should probably change our name. Fortunately, at this point, milk under the bridge. You know. Okay. Yeah, I we forgot. He's good enough here. I don't know. Oh no. I think you might have forgot. Oh something. no. That's enough fun, exciting footage for you. All right. I guess Are I'll you get to uh, doing like some gonna talking. get to work at some point? Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no one will ever see it though. No one records me doing anything. <laughs> Just to clarify things, I'm not a doctor. It's just a pro tip on how to put these gloves on. I'm glad that, you clarified. I know it can be confusing. The setting looks so pretty. The sky's so blue and the big tree behind you. It's beautiful. It's mostly me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cut. Cut. All right. See this thing? What am I seeing? That's how you put it on there, so it's going to do that. No one asked you. What is that? I don't know. Can you get it out Some kind of mud. 
bug. Ooh, can you get it? <sighs> See, that's what you married me to do for me. There's a lot of things that I have to do for you. You will forever have to remove bugs and kill bugs for me. You haven't killed one snake for me. That thing was dead, right? Yeah. I think a bug lived in there and then left his house, you know? Great. Where is he now? Great question. Don't drop a cock on my head. Okay. Did you put the ladder on, like, the sidewalk and the driveway? Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Why did you do that? I wasn't in enough pain of other things. Mm. So I said, you know, let me whack my back on the ladder. Mm, yeah, they don't like that. Don't do that. Sorry, I just put my glove on in mm. my hand. I feel like I'm like George because I thought of something after. I should have said, well, at least you wore protection. The idiot store called. They're running out of you. You know, prep sucks. But at least it takes a very long time. <laughs> but it's going to feel that much better when we know that, like, we did all this and it's painted. So it doesn't just, like, look pretty. But you've sealed up a lot of areas where, you know, for my peace of mind, bugs can come. And, like, for your peace of mind, like, moisture can get into. <laughs> yeah. This crack gets real wide at the bottom. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's just so many cocking jokes, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you do this long enough, you know, in a few hours you'll have gotten all of them. Got her sinking some nails. Nice. Putting a little wood putty on them, you know. I've noticed that the ones that aren't countersunk, like they rust, you know, and they come through the paint. That makes sense, yeah. So, try to, try to cover some of that. Certainly not the prettiest job, but... No, you know, we're, we're trying to get better than it was. It's a lot of cock. Why this ladder looks like this you just wipe your hands yeah. on it all the time you've probably had this oh, ladder okay. for almost 20 years no i borrowed it yes from an old job yes i remember i left that job in 2000 i borrowed it in 2008 so almost so what's that in, 16 what's that years in 16 yeah. years yeah. yeah wow you did some really fast math right there i'm not going to check you so i'm just going with that's good yeah and if it's wrong we'll dub over it later yes <laughs> but for now just be proud of me and you told me to just do the things that I can reach. Did you feel like you couldn't reach this part? Or did yeah, you see like how that looks? It. Yeah, I like that. It looks okay. good. I don't know how you use that. Where did you put the knife? I didn't touch the knife. You did too. Because you were supposed to cut that out. Hmm. You put that there. <laughs> ah! The spider. Huh? Spider. Oh no. Are you going to come do your job? <laughs> how about if it jumps on me and bites me? Where is this monster? I knew you were going to do that. That's worse than like leaving it there. Do you think if I killed that one spider, there would be no more spiders in this yard? There'd be one less. Oh, oh. Got him. I don't know that you did. I think we'll have like PETA after us now. That's a venomous spider. I would have killed you. Yeah, self-defense really. Oh, a gecko just got in the house. Come on, buddy. Go the other way. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, go off with your friends. I'm just stuck in here. I mean, you're welcome to visit, but it's not a good place for you to yeah, live. Yeah, you want to live in here. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. Sorry, buddy. Just trying to keep you safe, believe it or not. It's so funny the difference in the way we react yeah. to spiders and geckos. <laughs> trying to live their lives and not trying to kill me, you know. Another Perkins brother to pro tip. You just do a little ball like this. It's not too soft. This is the plastic wood. And then you can just kind of walk around with this thing and start putting them in little holes. And then just... Like sticks it in there and twists it and it's done. But you know, I don't have that much experience with the plastic wood ball. But this is this is working better than using like a little spatula, you know. It was at this moment he knew he fed up. I feel like I'm about to open a can of worms <laughs> here. What do you mean? There's some rod of wood over there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I stuck my finger in it and the whole oh, thing. Oh no. Finish. What are you doing? All right, well, it's right there. So. Oh. <laughs> that's some rotted wood. I was really hoping that I didn't have to fix. It's worse than I thought. So, can we just do inside projects? <laughs> Those it's never cause you any AC. stress. <laughs> yeah, I'm always so even keeled. Super pumped about this. That's from the gutter being uh, clogged for however long before we had this <gasps> house and I cleaned it. And that's what's causing all this rot, probably. 
So how big is the piece that you have to replace? I don't know. However much it rocks. Well, look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Probably have to cut it like back here somewhere. Look at this. I'm going back inside. Let me know when you're done. <laughs> you know what? What? I am hungry. Oh, so yeah? maybe I'll take a break before I start losing my mind. Snacks. What are we going to snacks? I don't know. What are our options? Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Lunchtime. <gasps> This fascia was extremely damaged, and unfortunately repairing it took over our weekend. We decided we'll make a separate video when we're done with painting to show how we fixed this and installed new gutters. Next week, we'll finally finish painting our house. The front of the house made the biggest difference, and we can't wait to show you how it looks. It looks like you've got some grays up there. Just quick giving you gray hair. It's the only way. <laughs>